Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Giselle. I review fragrances and today guys, I came here with the most elegant notes in perfumery or at least what I consider some of the most elegant notes in the perfume industry. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Let's get started, guys. So one of the most elegant notes in perfumes are, in my opinion, oud. But there's something so, so elegant, so luxurious, so spectacular about oud that it will be impossible not to include this note in this video. There are so many different types of ouds that it would be impossible to do a decent length video and I don't want this to be extra long. So I'm not gonna go into deep details into the notes and everything because we are talking about one specific note here. And my favorite oud or one of my favorite oud fragrances in my collection is Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kurjan. So this is what they call the Globe Trotter. This is the, the purse size. I purchased three, I think they are 10 or 11 mils each. And I think it's perfect because it fits here. I think this is super elegant, super chic. I love it. And the fragrance is out of this world. This is a very feminine wood. Wood tends to be a little bit sometimes way too strong, even very, very masculine sometimes. But this is the most feminine oud among the other ouds that Francis Grosjean has. But it is, in general, a very feminine oud. It is unisex, of course. It is definitely unisex, but it, it leans very feminine, at least on my skin. It's stunning. It's slightly gourmand. It has Bulgarian rose. It has Turkish rose. It has oud, of course. It has vanilla. You smell the vanilla more in the dry down. This is a spectacular, stunning, stunning fragrance. It smells super luxurious, super expensive. Wow, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. It's an oriental woody fragrance. It's a very sexy fragrance, very elegant. That's why I wanted to include it in this video because sometimes wood is always very elegant, always. I don't know what is it about it, but it's always super elegant, but some woods are more elegant than others. And I think the fact that it, this leans a little bit more feminine gives the fragrance a touch of je ne sais quoi that makes this perfume extra elegant. So yeah, it made it to my list and I started the list with this, although this is in no particular order. So guys, the second note that I consider one of the most elegant notes in perfumery is Iris. And to represent this gorgeous note, I picked Iris de Syracuse by Boucheron. This is actually a reserve line or a private line or more niche line from Boucheron. It comes in a huge bottle. It's absolutely stunning. It's a buttery, creamy, powdery type of Iris. It's bright in the opening, slightly powdery and musky in the dry down. Perfect for dates, perfect during the day, during the night. Absolutely stunning. You can't go wrong with this fragrance. It smells super chic, super expensive, very, very luxurious as well. It's absolutely beautiful. This is super similar to, but really similar <laughs> to Louis Rouge by Louboutin. So if you can afford that, because it's pricey, you might go with this one. This is not cheap either, but it's still more affordable than Louis Rouge. It's, I would say 95, 98% similar. It's super, super, super similar to Louis Rouge. And the good thing is that it comes in a big bottle so you can respray all over during the day and you won't regret yeah, it. Because this is a more affordable option. It's absolutely similar to the other one. You really, I have both and I literally, it's hard for me to tell them apart. So yeah, Iris de Syracuse is stunning, but you have to like Iris. It doesn't have um, cardamom as Louis Rouge, but still the fragrance both smell super, super similar. But again, you have to love Iris because this is Iris on steroids, guys. So if you don't like Iris, stay away from this one. But if you like Iris, you will absolutely adore this fragrance. This is actually my second bottle. Comes in a huge, huge container. And still, I keep buying this on repeat because I can't be without this in my collection. Give it a try, Iris de Syracuse. So the third note that I consider one of the most elegant notes in perfumery is leather or suede. 
Me personally, I prefer suede. Suede is more buttery, it's creamier, it's more feminine. I feel it's more sophisticated as well and it's more versatile. And on the other hand, leather fragrances are a bomb. They are beautiful, but it, it, it's not for everybody. It's not for the faint of heart either. It's a very, very strong type of note. You have to really know what you're wearing. You have to be really in charge of yourself. That's what I wanna say. In leather, it's absolutely stunning. I think very few notes represent what leather does. It's amazing but as i said i prefer suede which is a slight variation of leather and in this particular occasion i chose queer beluga by guerlain it belongs to the art de la Matia collection which is a collection that the house wanted to launch when they remodeled their flagship store in paris so they hired perfumers they didn't cut corners and they request the noses to create fragrances based on raw materials and this is leather or suede this is a super this is a stunning i think this is one of the most underrated fragrances on the internet honestly everybody talks about angelique noir and spiritus double vanille but this one guys you don't know what you're losing even if you don't like leather fragrances you might still like this this is very sweet very feminine it's almost syrupy I never ever smelled a syrupy type of fragrance when the leather or suede accord is so present. So it's very unique, very unique. I never smelled anything like this before. This is a very creamy, buttery suede. Me, it's a dream of a, it's it's a dream. This fragrance is a dream. It has all the highs. It has vanilla. Super super beautiful. I put a dent, as you can see here, <laughs> and the original color is lighter, a little bit lighter, but I have this fragrance for a few years already, that's why it turned a little bit darker. But um, it's, the fragrance is super, super luxurious, very, very chic, very elegant, super, super elegant. I get massive compliments when I wear Queer Beluga. It's a fragrance that you can pull off all the year round, to be honest with you. In the winter time, it is cozy, it's warmer, in buttery creamier but in the summer it becomes more more syrupy sweeter and denser it's very it's dense it's a dense type of fragrance especially in in the heat absolutely beautiful fragrance Cue Beluga by Guerlain so guys the next note is Magnolia and I have here a fragrance I talked about before because I love it it's Magnolia by Bottega Veneta and it belongs to the Parco Palladiano line which is the reserve or niche line from Bottega Veneta. Personally I think that Magnolia is the most elegant white flower because it's more neutral at the same time and it can take different directions like for example as much as I love Gardenia Gardenia can be heavy, can be heavy as well at some time. Same with Turo, same with Orange Blossom. And all these three flowers, Orange Blossom, Turo, and Gardenia, they all smell like they themselves, right? When you smell Turo, you recognize it's Turo, right? When you smell a Gardenia or a Gardenia fragrance, you recognize there's Gardenia and same with Orange Blossom. Now with Magnolia is different. Magnolia can take different directions. Magnolia usually tend to be lemony citrusy but they can also be a little bit spicy they can also be a little bit creamier they they can go in different directions but still i think it's a very neutral flower it's never overwhelming it's a crowd pleaser i think you have higher chances of getting more compliments and to feel more comfortable among people when wearing magnolia rather than other white flower and this one in particular is this is a stunner it's super 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 elegant super chic it's a very fresh fragrance perfect for spring and summer this is a very very refined fragrance one of the best magnolias i've ever smelled in the market it smells like the flower just fresh plucked magnolia absolutely absolutely stunning so what I find interesting about this flower is that it releases its fragrance depending on the environment and depending on the humidity and the temperature, it also varies the, the intensity. So the more humid and the warmer the environment, the stronger will be the scent. 
so i find that fact very interesting and it's a very very special flower absolutely beautiful very simple but this is the case when less is more magnolia by bottega veneta parco palladiano line so guys my next note is vetiver and let me tell you something I used to hate vetiver. I found it too masculine, too harsh, and I've always loved super feminine fragrances. But I realized that as my nose grew, so did the note. And I want to share this with you because if you're just getting started into the fragrance world, especially in the niche space, highly likely you won't like vetiver and you won't like the Fougere olfactory group. But as I said, in my case, it's a note that grew on me and I love it. And my favorite, or one of my favorite uh, vetiver fragrances in my collection is Sycamore by Chanel Les Exclusives. This is stunning. It smells super expensive, super luxurious. It's a woody scent. It has all the heights. Of course, it's a Chanel fragrance. It has to have all the heights. It has juniper as well. It has sandalwood. Of course, vetiver is absolutely stunning. And interestingly enough, my most complimented fragrances in my collection have vetiver. So it seems it's a note that blends really well with my skin. And I love, I love it. I absolutely love vetiver. It's absolutely beautiful. All vetiver fragrances are super elegant, but they are also very sexy, but not flirty, not playful. It's like straight to the point, if you know what I mean. <laughs> It's no no games around this. Well, you have to own yourself if you want to pull this off. This is a super confidence booster fragrance, but you have to like vetiver. This is a vetiver fragrance, but it's stunning. I get massive, massive compliments every time I wear my vetiver fragrances like Terra d'Hermes, Sycamore, Loro by uh, Bottega Veneta as well. It's stunning. And I think that, yeah, vetiver has a masculine touch. But I think that exactly that masculine touch is what makes feminine fragrances so, so unique. Well, Sycamore is not a feminine fragrance. It's technically it's unisex, but I, I, I love that masculine touch there because it really, really takes the fragrance to a whole new level. So I hope you try it and let me know your comments below. Sycamore by Chanel is exclusive. So my next elegant note is tea and I picked Tea Azzurra by Galen, and it belongs to the Aqua Allegoria line. This is a beautiful fragrance. This smells like tea to me. This is very herbal, very green, aromatic, very citrusy. It has lemon, it has bergamot, it has yuzu as well, which is a hybrid green tea, of course. It has musk, it has chamomile. Super, super beautiful, very, very, very fresh. In fact, this has cologne, and this is why this fragrance is so, so fresh. Cologne is a lab-created molecule, it's a synthetic molecule created to recreate the freshness you find in watermelon, for example. And this is a typical molecule used in the 90s. This is absolutely beautiful. When I wear this, I, make, I feel like very put together. This smells really like tea to me, but not like an Earl Grey. It's more like an iced tea. This is like a thirst quencher. When you wear this, you will feel 100% put together, super chic, super sophisticated as well. Ready to walk in the Amalfi Coast in Italy. I tell you, this is, wow, absolutely stunning. This is a, a dumb bridge, honestly. This is a crowd pleaser. You can wear this for everything, errands, church, kids, grocery store, lunch meetings, date nights, everything. Absolutely beautiful fragrance, give it a try. I heard it's been discontinued, I'm not sure, but if you still get it and you like the tea note, this is, as I said, this is not the black tea or the Earl Grey type of tea, this is like a thirst quencher, like an iced tea. So if you like that type of accords, I would suggest that if you get it online, buy it, because according to what I read, it's been discontinued. Tea Azzurra by Gaulan. So my next note in this list is sandalwood. I absolutely love sandalwood, but I'm trying to be very candid here, okay? This is not just notes that I love, but notes that I really think are super elegant. And this is, we all have different tastes. So regardless if I like it or not, I would have included here no matter what. I love sandalwood and I picked Loewe 001 to represent this beautiful note. 
this is one of the most refined sandalwoods I've ever smelled. It's super, super creamy. I think I can here. Let me spray some here. Gosh, this is super creamy, super buttery, balsamic. Yeah, very, very buttery type of sandalwood. It's also fruity, which makes this fragrance pretty unique because usually sandalwood fragrances are very woody, very cozy, very warm, lots of spices, but this is a clean sandalwood. It's not harsh. Conversely, it's creamy, it's sweet, but it's fruity at the same time. Super beautiful. And it's also very, very clean, which usually you don't find that in sandalwood scents. It's absolutely stunning. It's very creamy in the opening and it's more fruity in the dry down, but you can still smell the fruits in the opening, right, right in the opening. This fragrance has pink pepper. It also has Italian tangerine, which is very fragrant, very pungent. It has bergamot, it has vanilla, and it has amber 001. That's why they have this name, which as I said before, it's a molecule, amber 001 is a molecule of the amber. It's very, very sweet. It's very versatile. This is also a damn rich for me. Crowd pleaser. It's very opulent if you over spray and if you wear this during the night, but it can be very light if you, you go light on the spraying and if you wear this during the day. So it's really, really versatile. I love it. It's unisex. Technically, this is marketed for women, but I think this is unisex and in fact, Many men prefer the female version rather than the male version. This, this is also another fragrance that smells super put together and super elegant. Well, of course, that's why I, it made it to this list, but it's very, very nice. I think you, you should definitely try it. Loewe 001. So guys, my last note for today is frangipani. Frangipani, it's a yellow flower. It can have other colors, but it's typically a tropical yellow flower. Very lush, very fragrant, very luxurious, but it's never obnoxious and it's not overwhelming. So it's a fragrance that is super, 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 that is super elegant and you can never go wrong if you like the scent. Right, and to represent this note, I bring here Frangipani by Shantkai. Not that I read that this is Jennifer Aniston's favorite fragrance, not that it matters, but just a fun fact. Beautiful fragrance. This is a floral scent with violet. It has hyacinth, of course, uh, Frangipani. It has Ilang Ilang. It also has vanilla. It has a little bit of incense as well, but it's not very incensey either. It's a very tropical scent, but it doesn't have coconut. It doesn't have monois oil either. It doesn't have TR. So it's not a beachy scent. It's tropical, but it's not beachy. You won't have the typical scent and lotion vibes. So I think this is a fragrance that you can definitely pull off all year round. But during the warmer months, wow, this is a, a, this is a stunner. Massive, massive, massive compliment getter. It doesn't project like a beast. It's more like a skin scent type, but when people come close to you, they will be able to smell it and they love it. I get massive compliments with wearing this fragrance. It's pretty sweet. It smells like candied flower, to be honest with you, but it's super sophisticated, super well blended, super well done, very rounded. It's, very, it's not overwhelming at all. And this is something that I would wear in the late afternoon, evenings, absolutely luxurious fragrance and it's beautiful what can i say you have to try frangipani by shantikai now by the way this has very similar vibes to cinema by ysl and to lisoleia by guerlain so those two are more affordable options than this one so if you can't afford getting this one please check the other two because they have very similar vibes not they're not they're not really similar scents they have some similarities but they are not really close however they have very similar vibes so yeah frangipani by chant kai so guys this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video about what I consider some of the most elegant notes in perfumery. Let me know in the comments below if any of these fragrances spark your interest or if you have tried any of these fragrances. I love when you guys leave comments and questions 
down below. I'm very interactive with my audience and I promise I'll do my best to answer you as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching. If you make it till the end, kudos for you. I truly appreciate your support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.